Hands off, unraveling the meaning. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to dive into the phrase, hands off. It might sound simple, but like many phrases in the English language, there's more to it than meets the eye. So, let's get started and explore the depth and nuances of this commonly used expression. Imagine you're about to touch something, maybe a beautiful vase in a store or someone's personal belongings. Suddenly, someone says, hands off. In its most literal sense, this phrase is a directive or command telling someone not to touch or handle something. Content. Derived from the literal meaning of the words, hands, the part of the body at the end of the arm, and off, not touching or connected. Often used to prevent someone from touching something delicate, private, or potentially dangerous. The phrase doesn't just stop at the literal. Hands off can also be used in a more figurative sense to communicate that someone should stay away from a situation or not interfere with something. Content. For example, if two people are having a personal conversation and a third person tries to intervene, one of the two might say, hands off. This doesn't concern you. Here, there's no physical touching involved. Instead, the phrase indicates non-interference in a matter. Another context might be in the business world. If a manager tells her team, this is my project, hands off, she's essentially telling them not to interfere or involve themselves in that particular project. It's equally important to know how to respond if someone tells you, hands off. Here are some appropriate reactions. Content. Acknowledge and apologize, e.g., oh, sorry, or my apologies. Ask for clarification if unsure about the reason, e.g., may I know why, or did I do something wrong? If used in a more playful or less serious context, you might smile or laugh it off, signaling that you understood the intent behind the phrase. There you have it. The phrase, hands off, is a versatile one in the English language, encompassing both literal and figurative meanings. Whether you hear it in a store, among friends, or in a professional setting, now you'll know exactly what it means and how to react. We hope this exploration has been enlightening, and as always, keep learning and exploring the beauty of the English language. Until next time, 